Hello my beautiful Virgos, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and welcome everyone. We're getting ready to do a Virgo reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the overall energy is new beginnings. Look at that. I like it. Nice energy, Virgo. You're due for some really good times coming in here. You are having a tremendous hunger for wanting something fresh, new, lively, that, you know, howling at the moon. You feel, a lot of you feel very emotionally, um, I don't want to say lacking, but you're, you're really wanting to be on a path in love that you find to be joyful and happy and not filled with so much uh, responsibility. You're hungering for someone who fulfills you emotionally just as you work hard to fulfill others. You have new love coming in though, a new beginning, a new beginning with an old love or a brand new love. I like the energy, it's exciting for you. So let's see Virgo, let's see what we have here. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is, ooh, lovely, strength card, Leo energy. All right, we've got some other nice energy here. Oh, lovely, I like it. Okay, so let's see what we have. In the recent past, your mutual energy with your love interest has been the five of coins. You're missing each other. You're both feeling as though you haven't had enough time together. You're both feeling very frustrated. There is sort of a lack of communication, though. There's a key right there. If you pick your head up out of your lap, sort of, and look at it, there could be more communication than there has been in the recent past. The current or current energy between the two of you, ooh, both of you have a lot to say to each other. It looks like you've been holding back. So how your person sees the situation, they feel as though they love you and that sometimes they feel a little bit overwhelmed with their emotions. This is Cancerian energy. This is Gemini energy, a desire to communicate very strongly after a period of being either apart or just not communicating very much. I'm seeing this a lot with the conditions of the world is that people are not as able to be free and move about. And I, I feel that with all of this love and the strength, I feel as though that's most likely the reason. The energy, how they view you, Virgo. They view you as someone who's very secretive. Seven of Swords energy, Aquarius, they see you as somebody who's very aloof. They see you as somebody who keeps secrets, who's not telling them very much. In their heart space, they feel very balanced. They do love you. They love the truth. But Libra energy is the kind of energy that says that they could see you as, they could see a future with you. But it is sort of a detached energy, but it is Venus. They love you very much. So your person in their heart space is very balanced. They're very logical. They're probably an air sign, could be an air sign or a water sign. But it looks as though they're trying to keep their balance. Um, this is a person who really loves the truth. And so they become troubled when they, they see that seven of swords, which can be a card of dishonesty or withholding or sneaky energy. So there's a little bit of a problem there is what I'm seeing. How they view the situation or the relationship going forward. Manifestation of love, of beauty, of tenderness, of harmony. Manifesting something larger than life, larger than yourself. They do think the world of you. They feel as though you could be the one. You could be there, everything, so to speak. They do have a hunger for this relationship as you do. The path is a little bit unclear, but there is a new beginning coming. What's a mutual energy between the two of you? Nine of Swords, remorse, regret, sadness, missing each other, feeling as though you could have a lot more than you do, feeling as though almost there's been a missed opportunity. This is sometimes crying over spilt milk. It's Gemini energy. What do we have for the advice from Spirit? Ooh, Spirit is saying that this relationship needs to, something needs to end for this to be able to be viable. So it looks like one person could be in a marriage or getting out of a marriage. It looks as though, you know, death and rebirth is like when you remove the old kitchen to build a new one, but something has to change. 
at a very basic level for this relationship to come into fruition, to have that new beginning, but both of you really want it. The short-term outcome is a magician card. Whoa, Virgo, there you are. Powerful major arcana, Virgo. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Cancer, Libra, Leo. So you have the power to manifest this relationship. So that's where our new beginning is coming in. That's where, you know, you find the path. This is all the tools. Both of you have all the tools to manifest this relationship. So Virgo, really, it's your person is wondering if you want this relationship. So that's the energy that I see right now. So let's see why the strength card is here. Why is the strength card here in this relationship? Tell us something about the strength card. What does it represent as the overall energy? Temperance, okay. So this would be a new beginning and a relationship that I think had an ending at some point. There was a time when the two of you were left in the cold and there was a lack of clarity. There was a lack of closure. Temperance is reconciliation, wanting to balance things out. Your person certainly wants to balance things out. Twin flame energy. Twin flame energy. This is all about, this is a number 22, the naked heart. This energy is all about two hearts beating as one. And we have the death card symbol of the butterfly there. And we have the death card here. So spirit is saying that there has to be a metamorphosis, a transformation for this to work, for you to come into union. So let's see why we have the five of coins here in the past, heart of wands. So the heart of wands, when we have an empress, we have a queen of cups. A heart of wands energy typically means that there has been uh, some sort of third party situation, another woman, uh, another man in a relationship that is a marital relationship could be there. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to read that is pretty much that your twin flames in separation because somebody's married here. Yep, there we go. We have one of you is single, ready to mingle. The sun card, great happiness. Look at that. No wonder you have the magician card. No wonder. It's not surprising that the strength card, you have fire and courage in your belly. You both really want this relationship. You are both very much hungry for the relationship that you have. The three of coins you probably met working together. And the Heart of Pentacles is a Capricorn Queen. A lot of queens, a lot of feminine energy on the board here. So the feminine in this relationship is very powerful. The Star card says that, you know, you and your person really want to heal the relationship. This literally means the hopes and dreams for love coming true. One of you may be in the public eye. Maybe one of you is... Uh, you know, is about to reach a pinnacle in your career, something that's going to throw you into the limelight. Both of you are absolutely stubborn. You do not want to walk away. There is, you know, the Eight of Cups reverse says that you both really believe in the relationship. You both want it. You both hunger for it. You both are making a staunch refusal to walk away. Tell us more, please. Four of Coins holding on. Holding on very tightly, but both of you are not, you're not sharing your emotions either. You're both holding back. The moon card, you both feel very much at risk. Again, the moon, the moon, howling at the moon. Both of you want to talk. Both of you would probably, oh, look at that. Ace of Cups, new beginning, new beginning in love. Powerful reading, very powerful. Okay, the Six of Wands is that your person, Virgo, wants a victory with you. They want to be victorious. They want to introduce you to their friends. They want to have a future. Six of Swords. They want to move the relationship forward, but they don't feel as though they really can. The Five of Swords says that they feel as though they're... they're your person may feel as though you play mind games with them. Your person may feel as though there's something really unfair about what you expect of them. The six of coins is that they, you know, they want equal give and take. They're willing to invest in the relationship, but they also want it 
from you. They want more investment. The lover's card, I'm not shocked. Twin flames and lover's card comes up so often together. You might be dealing with a Gemini or an air sign. You could be dealing with any sign. I see everything pretty much on the board here. So here we go. Twin flames and soulmates once again. Why do they see you as sneaky? Movement of pentacles. You're moving so slowly. They actually think that you're not moving towards them. Your person really doubts that you are. They feel as though you're very much invested in a marriage. And that, you know, you're... Uh, there we go, Virgo energy. We have two, two Virgo energies here. The movement of pentacles is the uh, knight of pentacles. We have the hermit card. Virgo, here you are. Your person really sees who you are. And Virgo energy again. Three Virgo cards right here on top of the Seven of Swords. So your person really sees who you really are, Virgo. They see that you're slow moving. They see that you're very, very uh, much. You keep to yourself. You don't really talk a lot, which I think is why sometimes they're, they're, you could use more communication, better communication. But we also see the Ten of Coins. So your person feels as though you're very focused on your money, but also that is a legacy marriage. So your person feels in their heart space for this relationship to come about that Libra energy needs to come in. The two of uh, wands that they feel in their heart space that you would have to make a decision or that they have to make a decision either to move on, to leave the situation. They do have a lot of clarity about what they want. Your person is a person who has a capacity to have a new beginning. Tell us why the Fool card is here for your person. The Chariot card, Honey, I'm Home. So your person is really feeling as though they want the relationship or they want to have a complete break from it so that they can manifest another relationship. But they don't want to leave you. They really don't. They want this relationship. I don't see them walking away. Do they have the capacity to do so? They absolutely do. You are dealing most likely with an air sign. The Five of Wands reverse. Your person does not see or date anybody else. The Ace of Wands reverse. They're just not sure that you're ever going to really leave, to really give them the opportunity. When we get the Ace of Wands upright with the Empress card, it's usually a pregnancy reversed. It means that your person is not really very fearful that you're, you know, as highly invested in a marriage or a significant relationship with someone else. They feel as though you'd rather not be there. They do see you as a Scorpio kind of an energy in love, somebody who doesn't speak about their love, somebody who's much more willing to show it. They do feel as though you love them, though. And the Ace of Coins, there we go. That's an offer. So your person feels as though the only way forward is to get an offer that's very specific. The Nine of Swords and the Movement of Swords, again, Gemini energy, Gemini energy. There may be words spoken or maybe there were harsh words spoken. The Justice card, again, twice. So the truth of the matter is that both of you know that the relationship cannot move forward unless there is a divorce and endings. Ten of Swords, though, says that both of you are very skeptical about this relationship and about your ability to manifest it. So we have Virgo, the Ten of Wands. We've had the Ten of Wands twice. This is very much, you've got the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Coins, okay. We don't, and we don't have the Ten of Cups here, but that's the only card that's not of the Tens here. But we're really seeing that both of you just, you, it's almost as though you've given up. The Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. The worst is over, you know, giving up the burdens, having clarity, moving forward very swiftly. It does look like there is some talk that's very private, or both of you are thinking of this privately. But the hunger is here. This, there's so much hunger in this relationship for both of you to have it. Why is the death card here? Ten of cups. There we go. That is the final ten. So for the two of you to be the happiest that you can be in love, it does look like the death card has to end another relationship. It looks as though it's going to be a requirement for you to be as happy, for you to fulfill this hunger for happiness. That's what I'm seeing.
nine of cups eat drink be merry enjoy your life it's a sense of community with your person you feel as though life is so good with them but again eight of swords self-imposed restriction so right now i don't see any movement in that direction but we have the king of pentacles coming in virgo this is taurus energy but it also when we go from the knight of pentacles we go into the king of pentacles so it does really speak to the fact that you know this virgo energy that represents you says that you can manifest this but seven of swords i'm really thinking that maybe you don't want to now i you know as most of you know if you've watched tarot for a while this can be vice versa energy but the seven of swords twice says that you know wow two hearts beating as one so i can see the seven of swords two different ways either your person virgo you and your person but your person views you as dishonest they feel as though you don't really give them much they feel as though you don't really you know that you really don't love them but i feel as though seven of swords would be an affair that you're having with your person which would mean that you're sneaking around to see your person because when you're together two hearts beat as one the two of cups your soulmates 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 twin flames and you yearn for each other but right now at this particular time in history i'm not feeling virgo that you know whoever it is that's the married person and your person seems to think it's you I don't really see the two of you coming together. Look at this. You have to choose your person. Ships in the par harbor. Both of you, you both absolutely know that you would be very powerful together. The three of wands is having chosen one another. If you want a new beginning, if you want to transcend this energy, you have to choose each other. You have to make the choice. The page of swords. You have a lot of clarity. You know it has to happen. If you want to fulfill that hunger, Throwing caution to the winds is going to be a requirement on this path. So I am broadcasting from Chicago. Please leave a note in the comments be below. Tell me where you're watching the video from. Cindy, you love. Send some back. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.